Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. And this is the real reason why Charlemagne wants to make up a Nicki Minaj. Now, as we all know, or if you don't know, I'll tell you. I'll give you a little backstory. Charlemagne and Nicki Minaj back around 2014, 2015 was very close. All right, they used to text each other. He would have access to Nicki's phone, Nicki including him on one of our albums. I believe it was the Pink Friday album. And he used to call Nicki his sister and yada, yada, yada. So Nicki was cool with him. Let me tell everybody where it all went left because Charlemagne wants to say it's because he said that he didn't like Anaconda. But it was actually the time right before then when Nikki came on and all three of the Breakfast Club, none of them had their questions together. This was right as, I believe, the uh, either the Roman Reloaded or the Pink Print was going to come out. Whatever, whatever album she had dropped that had high school on it. You know, it's like Roman Reloaded or Pink, the Pink Print. Deluxe, whatever the case may be. So she came up there and the Breakfast Club was not prepared. They wanted to know about her, her dating life, who she was sleeping with, this, that, and the other. She didn't want to talk about that. She questioned him and told Angie, Angela Yee. She used to be so, like, you know, powerful and when she was by herself. But now since she's been with these men... You know, she lets those men run over her and she takes the back seat and she's just come for everybody. She said, I'm not coming up here anymore until you guys learn what you're doing and learn how to interview people. You didn't do any research, nothing. Nikki called him out. All right. So and then after that time, when Anaconda dropped, then he did. That's why he even made the comment because he was still mad at Nikki from Nikki calling him out. Uh, back then, and then what happened is Nikki changed her number on Charlemagne, and Charlemagne never did not have access to Nikki anymore. Nikki basically told him, "You know what? I didn't like that what you did, guys. Did I came up there? You're supposed to be promoting the album, or you guys want to know about who I, the messy stuff?" Then uh, after that, Charlemagne made the comment. That's what really happened. That's why Charlemagne even made the comment about Anaconda. Then that's why all that stuff with the hate train and stuff started. And he latched on to Cardi B because the industry said there's going to be a big Cardi B push. So yes, as far as the media part goes, Charlemagne played a big part in getting that word out that he didn't start the hate train. He was just following orders. Like a good ninja. Following orders that the that they passed down from up top that they're gonna start this hate train after the Yo Miley what's good. You can also confirm that with Choke No Joke, who spoke to the same people I spoke to. He had that on his channel as well. That's what started the hate train along with the stuff with Meek Mill. And you can go to the blog and find that or go to one of my past lives. I'm not getting into it again. However, that's the backstory. They've been falling out ever since. He's been pro Cardi. He's been preaching, you know, about Cardi B and, and how Nikki's time had finished. And he was the one that started that narrative that Nikki's flow was trash. And then in, in turn, I started to see the five flow dynamo. When he first said trash, he was responding to me on Twitter because me and Charlemagne have a little history, not a lot, but a little history. I've been knowing Charlemagne a long time. I, I interviewed Charlemagne. I probably one of the first people to ever interview him when I had my radio show and he came on the radio show and then we had a rapport since then, but he was responding to me. Saying five flow diamonds, her flow is trash. So the same thing that everybody's saying about Megan right now 
in 2017 or whatever it was, 2016, Charlemagne was starting that that um, narrative with Joe Button and a lot of other media people that Nikki's flow was stagnant. It was trash. She only talks about uh, these chicks as her sons. How many times is she going to say that? How many times are you going to post your accolades? You're insecure because other people, people want to hear other people, this, that, and the other. So, yes, they helped push it through the media, but they did not start the hate train. They helped push it. That being said, I know now he's saying he wants to make amends with Nicki Minaj. If I'm Nicki Minaj, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. This is this is the way you wanted it. You know what I mean? I'm no longer the girl. I'm trash. My foes trash. Guess what? You don't have to speak on me ever again. You don't have to worry about me coming up to your tired show. You know, I mean, not to call the, say the Breakfast Club is washed. The Breakfast Club is still the premier talk show. It's just that people haven't been coming up there because of COVID. But if you look around anywhere, unless they're going to freestyle, people haven't really been going anywhere. So I disagree when people say nobody goes to the Breakfast Club because even during the pandemic, they had Megan. They've had a, a lot of stars up there, but people slowed down because of the pandemic. All right. So, but if I'm Nicki Minaj, I tell him it's all good. Just stay with the narrative you've been painting. Why now people saying, well, because the media part of the hate train about Nicki is kind of slowing down, or which it, at least it did slow down. And Cardi B, you know, Atlantic, as far as they're saying, oh, it has nothing to do with payroll and paychecks. You don't need to pay anyone when you're elite and you're saying, this is what it is. You're not going to get no extra paycheck for, for, for doing exactly what we ordered you to do. You get to keep your job. You get to keep your job. That's your payment. They're not giving Charlemagne, they're not cutting Charlemagne no check to go on the radio and promote. You get to keep your job. That's your payment. He wished he was getting paid. So now that the narrative about Cardi is not really being pushed because Cardi's really trying to branch up out of music. And let's say the narrative is tired. Nikki's still here because of her fan base. She said it numerous times. That's the reason why she stays because of her fan base. Because him saying what he said, it's like, duh, no duh. Who doesn't know that Nicki Minaj ushered in the new school of female rappers the same way Lil Wayne ushered in the, the, the new wave of male rappers? Nicki and, 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 and Wayne and Drake. All three of those people ushered in the new wave. The, the way females look now, they all look like builder Nicki's. They all got the, they all rocking colorful wigs. They all change their hair color every other week. They all got the surgeries. They all look the same. So, of course, she ushered in the new wave of female, but the same way Wayne ushered in Lil Yachty and, and, and Lil Uzi Fart and all these other rappers that's sounding like Wayne. And Drake ushered in the, the, the hybrid rapper where you're rapping and singing and or, or kind of like in the middle. You don't know whether they're like Roddy Rich. He ushered in those type of rappers. Everyone now goes to the yeah instead. Everybody was doing the A around when Future came out. A. 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 Now they went to the yeah. When Drake started it. So yes, Young Money, Cash Money, ushered in all the new school rappers. Everybody knew that. So he didn't have to say that. If it, you know, if you are, you know, <laughs> if you're missing Nicki Minaj, just say that, sir. But that's what's behind him. 
You know, he knows the Nicki Minaj era is coming. He wants to try to be the first one to get a Nicki Minaj interview. He knows the Bob's are going to support it. He wants to be the first one to get that Nicki Minaj interview. Because Barty Gang and, and Bart, they really don't need him now. Cardi don't need him now. Atlantic don't need him now. Cardi's a full-blown star. And partially because of what Charlamagne did in the media. So, we're going to see what happens. But if I'm Nicki Minaj, I say, eh, I don't even respond. I'm not even going to say thanks with no thanks. I don't even respond. Make him seem like she don't even she didn't even see him or or hear about him. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what if you were Nikki, would you ref, uh, would you forgive Charlemagne or would you tell him to kick rocks? Let me know. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.